Get Real. Do, 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 do. Welcome to Get Real, my little movie review show that I'm going to start doing weekly. Um, it's not serious at all, but it's something I just want to do, so I'm going to do it. Three movies we're going to talk about today. Requiem for a Dream, Darren Afroneski, great movie. Donnie Darko, whoever directed it, great movie. And Lightning Bug, another great movie, directed by Rob. I don't know his last name. Anywho, tonight my topic is mainly going to be indie films, uh, low budget, kind of underground, ones that people you have either heard of, haven't seen, or have seen, and no one else has, so they can't talk to anyone else about it. I'm going to recommend those three to you, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about them. Hopefully, next time you get Hastings, you'll want to pick it up, want to see it, things like that. Okay, so first things first, and we're just going to start off because what else are we going to do? Requiem for a Dream. Let's get a good shot of this because I want you to remember it. Requiem, creepy eye. Requiem for a Dream. Okay. It is directed by Darren Afraneski and the cast list includes Jared Leto, Marlon Wayne? Wayne's? Wayne? Something like that. I don't know. Um, Jennifer Conley and Ellen Bernstein. Great, great movie. Like, I cannot even use enough greats to even begin to cover the awesomeness of this movie. It is basically about the highs, literally, and lows of these group of people that go through drug abuse. And it takes place in New York. Um, it... It starts out, um, Harry Goldfire, played by Jared Leto, is taking his mother's TV to pawn it for money to buy drugs. And when you, you start watching it, you're like, what the heck is going on? And then it all starts to make sense, and it's just basically about how they get to the point where they are happy with their life, nothing can seem to go wrong, and then everything just starts spiraling out of control great movie. It will freak you out. I had never seen a refrigerator be more scary than in this movie. Great, great movie. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I just love it so fantastically much. that Those two words don't even go together, and I'm using them, which is, isn't surprising, but you know, just be quiet and watch and rent this movie. Requiem for a Dream. Daron Afroneski, 9 out of 10. Watch it now. Okay, next movie which I'm pretty sure was Donnie Darko. Not quite sure, but I hope it was. Donnie Darko, great movie. Don't know who directed it, but the cast list includes Jake Gyllenhaal, who is, he's right now in the big Brokeback Mountain Heath Ledger thing going on, directed by Ang Lee. I'll get to that movie later. And who Jake Gyllenhaal, Drew Barrymore, Noah Wiley, Patrick Swayze, and Jenna Malone. I don't know who the heck she is, but if, she must be pretty good if she was in this movie. Great movie. Confusing as heck, let me tell you. I had to watch it seven times. I, that's how many times I've seen it so far, seven or eight. And I still honestly don't know what's going on. Um, I've had people tell me what they think is going on, and they're pretty good assumptions. And so I'm just going to leave it there because it's pointless for me to continue rambling. Um, a boy, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, can't remember his name for the life of me, um, has a near-death... Oh my gosh, I forgot his name. It's Donnie Darko. I'm so retarded. I apologize. Um, Darn Darko has a near death experience with a jet engine that comes crashing through a ceiling into his room. But luckily, he was sleepwalking and talking to this giant bunny who tells him the world's going to end. And it's pretty much just about what happens before the world ends. Great movie. I give it an 8 out of 10. Was a little confusing. And I'm generous. I mean, I give fairly high scores because I love every single movie on this earth except for the ones that suck so horribly that I don't like them. Yeah. One of these days we'll have the worst movies I've ever seen show, and you'll see what I mean. And trust me, Manos Hands of Fate will not be there because that movie is fantastic. Torgo, I love you and your swollen knees. I love you. Never mind. Okay. Darn Darko, watch it. Great cast. Great soundtrack. I love it. You really need to see this movie if you already have it. This is one of the more popular indie movies. Great, 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 great. I love it. Watch it. Okay, next movie on my little list is Lightning Bug. Directed by Rob somebody. I really don't know who it is. But it is pretty much a conquering your challenges, making your dreams come true kind of movie. It is about a young boy who moves to Alabama and wants to become a horror movie makeup effects artist guy. 
and everyone in his little town thinks he's demonic, he's going to hell because he's evil and he does them monster things and all that jazz. And he has a couple friends that support him and he meets the girl of his dreams who is just like him, loves horror movies and stuff like that, played by um, that girl who plays Dawn off that 70s show, whatever her name is, Prepon, that's all I remember. Woo. Anywho, um, everyone thinks he's evil and he convinces this guy to let him do the monsters for this haunted house in town and he's pretty much going to use that as portfolio and stuff happens and great great movie about conquering your dreams and making them come true great great movie watch it lightning bug I give it an 8 out of 10 I really really liked it and it's awesome it's also based on a true story it is the story of the director he I guess lived in a small Alabama town and now he is a famous makeup artist for Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel and stuff like that. Taylor, that was for you. That was for you. Oh, and since I already gave a little shout out to Taylor, I'm going to give a shout out to all the other people who are probably not watching this right now. And if they are, an e-prop for you. Oh, sweet. But Lindsay, Pete, Mitch, Brock, maybe. Eh. Stephanie, who doesn't check this anymore, but I love you anyway, girl. You are hilarious. And Louise, who's there. And I love you too, Luis. Kind of. Okay. Oh, and Megan. Oh my gosh. Totally almost forgot you. You are the best musician I ever know. Ever know? No. God, I'm so retarded. No. That's out for... I cannot talk. Oh my god. I'm making the worst little internet show you've ever seen in your life. And you've probably stopped watching. So, that is it for Get Real. Oh my god. Is that not the most hilarious name you've ever heard in your life? For a movie review show. Well... I'm over, thank God, and I'm out, thank God again, so next time, get real.